Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the TESPA Collegiate yeah, Series. We're over 300. This year, for 2017, we've got 350 teams competing for over $120,000. Cal Berkeley is a very good team. They're on almost what seemed here on top. The synergy there for Cal. It's literally been built over UBC, a year. And it's not to take anything away from UBC. It's just Cal's that good. For me, my favorite thing about playing Overwatch is figuring out the optimal strategy. You know, just looking at what your options are and then determining how to be the best. So last year, Berkeley's Overwatch team won TESPA's Collegiate Series for Overwatch, and this year we're the defending champions, and that's really important to the entire team because it's their honor and glory, essentially. Really? Oh, Flower, yeah, I was wondering where he was. I was like... This new roster that we've had for this second year actually came together in spring, but then we had to let some more players go and still transition some players in. So our roster wasn't really final until this fall, and so that was really, really nervous for everyone. It definitely takes a little bit of time to incorporate the new fresh blood into the roster, uh, but we've, been, we've, been, we've gotten there over the course of the, the semester. I don't think a lot of the other teams expected us to perform that well. A lot of people saw our roster changes this season as really unstable and that we wouldn't even come close to making potentially even top four. But I think now that we're here, a lot of people have given us the respect and given the space, and I think a lot of people realize that if anyone might have a chance to beat UCI, it would be our team. Now with that in mind, they are the second seed overall. And even though UCI UCSD is one of the big in-state rivalries, Berkeley's saying, you know what, we're up north guys, but don't forget about us. We're on the hunt for that trophy too. Our team is really, really special. Every player kind of has a personality of their own, and so it's really cool to kind of see them all like come together and work like really hard for this common goal. I'm certain that on tournament days, they'll all like kind of show their true potential. Some of us are fortunate enough to be good at many heroes like Daniel, and so what we generally do is we kind of put our players on their strongest heroes, and then we kind of fix it with the players who are actually capable of playing all the heroes to that level. The team kind of came together as a group of solo queue warriors. We just chose the best of the best. So Daniel, he's probably one of the best players in Collegiate. He is capable of playing pretty much any hero to a very high level, and so we definitely utilize that. Our other DPS player is Gondira, and it's really funny because he's just actually a really easygoing person, so it kind of is a complete contrast to him in-game, which is always about winning. Izzy is really good at getting kills with Senyata and staying alive when you really wouldn't expect the Senyata to be staying alive. Alex is our newest support player. He plays Mercy. He is not thrilled with having to play Mercy, but he makes that sacrifice for the team since she's just such a strong hero right now. So Andrew, uh, he's one of the best Zarya's on the team. He is always communicating what he sees and really kind of ties the communication together. Kevin, he's our big Arisa main. That's all he plays and that's all he loves to play. So inside of game, he always tells us like the best strategies with Arisa. So he's kind of our strategy maker. And outside of the game, he's, that, he's just a really smart guy, I guess. I think since the beginning, we've had a target on our back since we were the champions and everyone just wants to say like, oh, they're not that good anymore. But not a lot of teams can say that about us because we've just won almost all our matches and we're still really strong. Winning this tournament would be great just because the scholarship money is super nice. It covers, I think, a little over a semester of just the tuition. But more importantly, I like having that title of being able to say, like, I'm a national collegiate Overwatch esports champion. And to be able to say that I'm a two-time, that, that would be awesome. <laughs>